today I'm going to give a brief overview of what eBlended Learning looks like within our Maths class. This is our class site where we have all of the resources for our different Maths classes. The students navigate using the menu bar along the top. For example, our Year 10 class would go to Junior School and then select the topic that they are working on in class. Each topic is separated into categories based on the achievement standards within the curriculum. Um, as you can see here, within the angles topic, we have set up links to online activities by curriculum level. And the students can self-manage their learning to suit their own curriculum level. So they can move up or down if they're finding the work too hard or easy. So that their work's at their correct level. For example, um, here is an interactive activity, finding angles at a point. We get students to take screenshots of their work, which they then put on a Google document as evidence. So here they'd fill out the answers and then take a screenshot to show that they got it correct. And then they would upload it onto their Google Doc. So here is an example of one student's work. We always start each day with a do now. Um, and what they often have to do for their do now is to find the definition of a word which they then, from Google, will change into their own language. So here it was similar shapes um, and here it was a locus. If you keep having a look you can see here that we've got screenshots lots of screenshots of work that the student has done. Um, then there's notes, which again are in the student's own work. Um, and if we keep going down, here is a Google drawing that has been done within their Google document, and that's just showing views. So, that, that's the sort of thing we get them to put in their document and then sometimes we get them to do notes on a table like this which we would give them the shapes and the number of sizes and then they have to fill out the rest of the table. This is great because the quality of work students can produce is amazing. And it also allows them to have their own flavour and to add their own creativity to their notes. So here you can see the fonts that have been used, um, highlighting has been used, and different pictures to help explain the notes. Another fantastic thing about using Google Documents is that the teacher can leave comments directly in here just using this comment box and they can add comments of feedback to the student work so the student can see if there's stuff they need to change or if there's stuff where they need a little bit of extra work explaining all that kind of thing so we get them to do each topic on a different document and this is good because it makes their work easy to organise and so easy to access later if the students need to have another look or the teacher needs to have a look. So that's how we use eBlended Learning to do our maths work in class.